Our group in this leadership program was tasked with coming up with a project or a recommendation for how can we help employees and the community in the event of a disaster. And the more we talked about it, the more we realized there's an organization out there that does this and they do it well. So instead of recreating this, why don't we go talk to the American Red Cross and see what they do and see if we can do a partnership. Our relationship with the American Red Cross didn't start as our corporation. It started as individuals within our company who uh, believed in the Red Cross and wanted to help. We had corporately uh, given money to the American Red Cross. This new relationship is different. This new relationship had to do with creating a specific team of people who um, would do more than volunteer or more than give money, uh, would be there, would go on site, would take their own time, some company time when we set it up and trained and that sort of thing. But mostly it's a, it's a desire to, to help, to be where it is, you know, where the action is. There's about four different components to the partnership. So there's the, the team of about 27. Great thing about that component is that if they are deployed, they will be able to be paid while they are responding as American Red Cross volunteers. Another component to it is, is that we've provided clothing to the American Red Cross. Our foundation, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas Foundation, provides a grant to the Red Cross to be able to fund um, initiatives and programs that they have. The partnership looks outward. We want to be there for Kansans in their time of great despair. But then we also wanted to make sure that our employees were prepared should a disaster occur. We went through two and a half days of training to be ready to go out and be able to respond if there's a tornado, a big disaster of some sort that requires the Blue Cross team. When it first came out, I really wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not. And then uh, my wife got involved in it, so I got to understand more about the Red Cross. And now that I've gotten into it, I should have done it a long time ago. I am from Wentworth, Kansas, and Corning is 15 miles from my hometown. So when we were deployed to Corning, my first reaction was, who am I gonna know at this disaster? Is it someone that I have a personal connection to? As we were preparing to take off, I text my husband and I text two of my sisters to let them know. Um, my sister immediately texted me back and she said, you know whose house that hit. She said, Monica Becker. And I went, oh my gosh. And so the personal connection to Monica was quite profound for me. And when we got to the house and we looked at the house, the house, there was nothing left. I was very grateful to go to Corning. I was very grateful to be able to help in that situation. A hero is somebody who's willing to help others, who, who's willing to, to give their effort to, to assist somebody else. To me, a hero is more like um, our soldiers, our firemen, our policemen, somebody that goes above and beyond the norm. I would define a hero as an everyday person who does extraordinary things to help others. Every person can be a hero. It doesn't take a caper Superman to be that hero. It's the person that takes the effort to help those in need, regardless of the situation. I don't think you have to run into burning buildings to be a hero. I think you can be a hero in your family life. I think you can be a hero in your church. I think you can be a hero in um, if you see somebody who's out of gas, somebody needs to help change an attire, well, it's your time to be a hero. Um, I don't see myself as a hero. I see myself as a neighbor helping another neighbor. I definitely see this team as being heroes.